Ruth Davis is 6 feet 7 inches tall and was born on June 24, 1994. She's a professional basketball player from Canada who plays for the Barcelona CBS Women. The Dallas Wings selected her 18th overall in the 2016 draft. Ruth Davis is the wife of Brandon Davis, who is a bagpiper, farmer, and a lifeguard. Ruth Advan Davis is smaller than she is, but this has had no effect on their love. I get a window from a glass, he must get a window from a glass. I get a step, he must get a step. I get a clock radio, cannot afford. Great success. They say you can't drive a Jimny when you're 6'7", but let me show you. I, I have wrapped in a program I did, a Weird Weekends episode about rap. <laughs> Don't let the haters get you down. <laughs> Ruth and Davis married two years ago in August 2021 and are now happily married living together. Under God's ordinance and the covenant of marriage, I promise to love you, to comfort you, to honor you, and to keep you in good times and in bad, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping myself only unto you. As long as we both shall live. I, Ruth, take you, Brayden, to be my husband, to live together after God's ordinance and the covenant of marriage. I promise to love you, to comfort you, to honor you. The one thing I would like everyone to be aware of is their height disparity. Tomorrow, sickness and health. All when considering about their height difference, these two lovely individuals share a significant gap, yet it hasn't affected their relationship in any way. You have declared your wish to be married, and in the presence of God and these witnesses, you have pledged your love and faithfulness to each other. In life, Christ, I pronounce you husband and wife. May God richly bless your marriage, and what he has joined, let you have been separated. this Ruth's husband, Brandon, supports her and travels with as a professional basketball player whose career took her all over the world, playing in different countries. My question is, do small men treat their partners better than tall guys in a relationship? We can't pass judgment because not all hands are rated equal. There may be some good and terrible hands on either side. Mm. Sorry, guys. Mm. Very nice and spicy. Ooh, very spicy. Wow, might have a little less chili next time. Sounds good. Very good. Mission success. I've been carrying these yeah. since 8 a.m. this morning. I'm worried. You're worried? Yeah. All right. Let's see how they look here. <laughs> Focus. Here we have it. A Polish pawn check. Or plum, I mean, not a big plum. Ooh, that was the most aggressive mystery pastry bag. What is it? Mm. I didn't get any of what <laughs> it's right there. there. That's fine. We can have that. I got two. I got one for each of us. Oh, it's all for you. Do you want me to hold it then? <laughs> you can take it. So you can move the rest of you know? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Cheers. It's good. Yeah? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. One thing we frequently neglect in a relationship is personality. We often focus solely in appearance, how tall he is, he looks manly, she has a thick butt, and the list goes on, until eventually ultimately fall in love with each other and started chewing the ends of our fingers in their displeasure. Ruth and Brandon spent valuable time and unforgettable moments with each other in their spare time, enjoying nice dinners, driving adventures, excursions to have a fantastic time as a pair. Today we went on our first hike since moving to Australia. We did the Kitty's Gorge Trail which is in Serpentine Falls National Park just outside of Perth. 
It was a beautiful winter's day here in Australia, but I mean, as someone who's from Northern Canada, this honestly felt like spring. <laughs> here, my husband was really hoping to see some bull ants, but they wouldn't come out of their nest. <laughs> the trail we did was just over 16 kilometers, and it took us just over four hours to complete, with plenty of stops to check out trees and cool rocks along the way. It was a beautiful walk with lots of different terrain. I particularly enjoyed this pipe bridge just near the end. And as a grand finale, we went and saw Serpentine Falls themselves, and even dipped our feet in the cool water, which felt so good after that long hike. The question now is, where should we go to next? We made a tough decision today. The excitement of finally getting our Pajero started after working on it for so long quickly wore off when reality set in. While we planned on doing an epic road trip at the end of the season, another opportunity came up that we just couldn't resist. And so we polished up our Pajero, ready to sell as is. And maybe someone else will take it on the road. You ready to go on an adventure? Yeah. <laughs> You can see that these two recognize each other's efforts. Oftentimes, we get so caught up in ourselves that we don't realize how much our partners contribute to the relationship. They may not have a higher paying job, but they make sure you have a beautiful home cooked meal every night. While those sauteed, I chopped up my jiamiyaki, then I added my homemade bouillonu, and we did a little happy dance while we waited for that to boil. Then it was time to add the chopped jiamiyaki, and we can't forget the star of the show the Kishiane Korogoku. I tempered the shmitane before adding it to the broth, and here we have it. I think it looks barzo smachna, and hubby approves. Smachnego, my friends. Selected by the Dallas Wings with 18th overall pick in the second round of 2016 WNBA draft on April 14, 2016. One month later, she made her WNBA debut against the Indiana Fever, winning 90 by 79. She grabbed three rebounds in just over two minutes of action, and she scored one point on one of two free throw shooting. Ruth joined the Path Learners for the 2016-2017 WNBL season on June 9, 2016, in a 108 by 67 win over the, the Bendigo Spirit on January 7, 2017. She recorded a season high 21 points, 8 rebounds, 5 blocks, 3 steals, and 3 assists. Ruth Davis signed with the Adelaide Lightning for the 2017-2018 WNBL season on May 17, 2017. She relocated to France in January 2018 to finish the season. Ruth Davis began the 2018-2019 season in Belgium but left in December. She spent the 2019-2020 season in Russia, the 2020-2021 season in Poland, and the 2021-2022 season in Greece. Ruth Davis signed with the Lakeside Lightning for the 2022 NBL1 Western season in April 2022. Ruth joined the Barcelona CBS team for the 2022-2023 season after the 2022 NBL1 season ended. Ruth Davis made her debut for Canada in the FIBA Americas Under-18 Championship for Women in 2012. She averaged 3.8 points and 1.2 rebounds per game in 4 games. In the summer of 2013, she was promoted to the Canadian Senior National Squad for exhibitions in Europe and China. Ruth made her Senior National Team debut in June 2014 at the Edmonton Greats International Classic, a three-game series against Bryzo. Follow her via the links in the video description for more amusing entertainment video. Thank you for your time. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below.